All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about setting up our units and working at a real-world scale. First of all, in order to see the differences here, I'm going to first of all need to make an object. So we'll just make a box, and then when we look at this, I see right now I have 53.7 inches. All right, so we're just going to make that a little bit more normal number. Let's make it 50 by 40 by 30. All right, now, since I have inches there as my unit, I'm going to go to Customize Unit Setup. And we're going to switch this over to generic units. Now I see that the inch mark is gone. So that's the difference there. Those are generic units. There are no determinations of unit. Let's go back to our unit setup. Let's change to metric. Let's start off in meters. So now I see that that is 1.27 meters, 1.016, 0.762. So it'll automatically do the conversion for us. So if we switch back to units, our US standard units, and let's look at feet with decimal inches. So now I see I have four foot two inch, three foot four inch, and two foot six inch. All right, now even though it's four feet two inches, what I can do if I want to, I can just highlight that part and we can type in just a measure in inches. And when I hit the enter key, it will convert it to feet and inches. Now, the way that units work in Max is right here the default unit is in feet. If I set my default unit to inches, even though it's feet and decimal inches, when I just type in a number without any unit there whatsoever, if I just type in 20, it'll be 20 inches, right? So that's one foot eight inches. Now if we go back to customize again, look at our unit setup, if I set my default unit to feet, and then I type in 20, I have 20 feet. So there's the difference between how we decide what our default unit's going to be. I typically work with default units set to feet and feet and decimal inches. You can work in fractional inches. I personally don't really like typing in the fractions all the time. So if I wanted to, we can make this three feet. So I can type in the foot mark and we'll go three sixteenths of an inch. So it converts it to six thirty seconds for me because right here, my fractional inch is set to a thirty second of an inch. I can have it basically at any fraction that I would like it to be at. 64 is 30 seconds. One hundredths would be quite a bit to work with. So we could go at sixteenths if we don't really want to go below. We can go to eighths, quarters, halves. So again, for me personally, I like working in decimal inches. You can also set custom inches. Like let's say we wanted to work in an ancient unit of measurement like cubits. I could set my cubit to, uh, what would that be? 52.35 centimeters. So we could set cubits to 52.35 centimeters. And now I see my box is 1.756 cubits. You can pretty much work in any unit you could possibly think of. So if we were doing something that we needed to work in cubits, we could do a little bit of internet research, find out exactly what a cubit is standardized to in today's system of measurement. And we can set that up however we may want. All right, we'll go back to US standard feet and decimal inches.